what's up guys and today we're talking about nanotechnology of course uh, nowadays a lot of people know about this so uh, let's go people can ha hardly imagine their lives without modern technologies nowadays it is almost impossible to go out without a mobile phone on other gadgets these devices have become an important part of our life and soon our houses and workplaces will look like electronic stores. So technology is all around us. The term nanotechnology was defined by a professor of the Tokyo Science University Nori Taniguchi in 1974 article. Material scale down to nanoscale can suddenly show very different properties, making their unique applications possible. For example, embedded materials become catalysts and stable materials become combustible. Solids turn into liquids at room temperature. Insulators become conductors. By the way, nanotechnology allows people to create microscopic objects and materials with unique properties. The use of nanomaterials can increase a lot of various devices. For example, graphene is a very strong and flexible material with a thickness of just one atom. It has excellent electrical conductivity and it's already used in the production of smartphones and many other products. That's all, thank you for your attention, bye.